All right, so the next thing we need to do is recode variables for anything that has been reversed scored. So look through your item sheet and see if anything needs to be reverse scored. The first parts of scoring is always going through how the original author said it should be scored. And if there are items that are reverse scored, this is how you'll do that. So we're going to go under transform, recode into different variables. It's simpler to do it under recode into same variables. The problem with that is if you add any new data, it gets incredibly confusing. So I always suggest doing recode into different variables. Then you can always rerun the syntax file, which we'll talk about in a minute, and if you add any new data to the data set. So let's go transform recode into different variables. That'll open up the recode into different variables dialog box. And we're going to pick any of the items that need to be reverse coded. In this case, we'll just pick a few. And there we go. Now for each one of the variables that I'm reverse coding, and you can do so long as they're on the same scale, so a 1 to 5 scale that's being reversed, you can recode as many at one time as you'd like. You don't have to redo this process for each individual variable. You can recode them as groups. But if you have some on a 1 to 5 scale and others on a 0 to 7 scale and some on a 1 to 4 scale, those need to be recoded individually, scale by scale. So this time, both of these are on a 1 to 5 scale, so let's do that. We're going to take, click on the variable first, and then we need to rename it. So what are we going to call the recoded version of it? It's going to create a new variable in our data set. In this case, let's call it RHIF8 with an R afterwards. The R just tells me it's the same variable name. The only difference is I have an R after it. That lets me know it's reversed. And then we have to click Change. If we don't, it's going to pretend we didn't do that. That's fine. This one's going to be... R H I C 4 R change. It's going to tell me that that's a duplicate because I already did that in this data set, but I can still walk you through the process. Normally that error message that just popped up would not appear. So now we're going to click on old and new values. Both of them we can see both say R H I F 8 is going to be changed into R H I F 8 R for reverse coded. And the same is happening for our other variables. Now we'll click on old and new values. So in this case, it was a 1 to 5 scale. So a score of 1, which was our lowest point, is going to change to our highest point on the scale, which is a 5. And we will click Add. Then our next point on the scale, a 2, will change to the second highest point on the scale, which would be 4. And again, we'll click Add. The midpoint, 3, is going to stay just as it was. So 3 will go to 3. Then our score of 4 will become the second lowest point on the scale, which is a 2, and 5 will be changed to 1. Now an easy double check is to make sure it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Clearly we have everything in the right order. So a score of 1, what this is telling us, is a score of 1 will be changed to a score of 5. A score of 2 will be changed to a score of 4, etc., thereby reversing the coding. High scores will become low, and lower, low scores will become high. At that point, we can go ahead and click on Continue, and we can click on Paste at this point. Why Paste? It's going to add that to our syntax file. Let's open up our syntax file. And that just gives us an indication of what we've done. So it says RHIF8 and RHIC4 are going to have this recode done, and they'll become these new variables of RHIF8R and C4R. So that lets us know sort of what the starting variables were, what sort of recode is going to happen, and what our new variables are going to be. At that point, we can highlight that and click on this green Run button up here, Run Selection. You can click that, and it's going to run it. If we go and check our data set, then at the very end of our data set, we should have some new variables that appear. So we now have RHI F8R and 4R. Notice that for our first person, the person in row number one, their score on 8R is a 4, and their score on 4R